So the first, as we know, there's been all of the discussion around Africa's ability to procure vaccines. And yes, we've started to see the rollout under the COVAX scheme. We've seen the arrival of some vaccines even outside of that in South Africa. But if we look at the global numbers, as of yesterday, something like 0.04% of the vaccines had been administered in sub-Saharan Africa. We know there are affordability issues. For countries that are looking to do this perhaps outside of the COVAX scheme, they are having to pay a significant premium to source the vaccines. Through the COVAX scheme, it seems to be happening very slowly. And there's an impatience to say, can we not get this to go any faster? The real risk that we see front and center of the economic risks Africa is still facing is if it's going to take a long time to get the rollout of the vaccines, we know that the COVID containment measures, the hard lockdowns, the curfews come at an economic cost. You can't keep that going indefinitely, but we're not looking at a situation where the vaccine supply is going to be available, let alone affordable, for rapid rollout in the near term. And so the risk is that we'll have to find a way to live with COVID, to guard against the potential emergence of successive new waves of COVID, and it's a risk for the global economy as well. It makes little sense for developed economies to say, well, you know, we've been very successful with the vaccine rollout, if there is a substantial part of the globe where there hasn't been meaningful immunization, this really raises the risk that we could be seeing new variants and then maybe the effectiveness of the current vaccines may be called into question. We don't know which way those new variants are going to go. So it would be in everyone's interest to come up with a better solution, more multilateralism, more of a concerted global effort to ensure that everyone has access to the vaccines.